Apple has just announced the iOS 18 update. One of the biggest features of the new update is the redesigned control center, which now offers more control to the users. In this video, we will take a deep dive into the control center and explore all the new features that will be making their way to your iPhone and iPad later this fall. Before we begin, it is important to note that this video is based on iOS 18 beta, so control center might look a little different once iOS 18 is finally released for public in the fall. Another thing to note is that you are not subscribed to our channel, so go ahead and hit the subscribe button for more iOS 18 content. Now let's begin. The new control center brings the pages feature. This new feature lets you have multiple pages to better organize various widgets and buttons. Now you get separate pages for your favorite widgets, a page for buttons, a dedicated music page, a page for your home setup, and a separate page for your system controls. Just like before, you can expand each widget to gain access to more controls. One of the coolest features of the new control center is its ability to let users resize buttons and widgets according to their liking. This not only makes it easier for you to create custom and unique layouts for the control center, but also lets you make certain buttons more prominent and easier to tap by increasing their surface area. You now get a dedicated add a control screen on the new control center. This screen gives you access to all the controls that are available to you. This includes controls for various system and accessibility actions. Apple is also allowing third-party apps to add their own action buttons to the control center. Those will also be available through this new screen. Another nice thing about the new control center is that now you will be able to add your favorite shortcuts to the control center and quickly launch them from anywhere. What I love about the iOS 18 update is that it allows each user to personalize the control center according to his or her liking. You can place the widgets and controls that are most important to you where they are the most accessible while put the ones that you don't use very often on a different page. The dedicated music screen allows you to put all the music related controls on one screen, which is also pretty nice. Similarly, you can have a dedicated home section on the control center and put all the toggle buttons for your home accessories there without adding clutter to the rest of the control center. iPadOS 18 also gets the new control center. Just like iPhone, you can customize the control center according to your liking. You can add or remove controls through the add a control screen where you will find all the different controls and widgets. You can also resize the widgets and buttons on the iPad and create layouts that suit your needs the best. And you can place them in different pages for better organization. So there you have it folks. This was our detailed look at the new control center feature of iOS 18 and iPad OS 18. What do you think about this feature? Did Apple do a good job at revamping the control center experience? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Also be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more iOS 18 content.